Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkan Wiersma, also known as EJ, to make it a little bit easier for a lot of people. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, finally I am going to make this video. I know uh, quite a lot of you guys was, were, were really looking forward to this video, because today we're going to have a look at all my files and to see if they are have in mind to give us some beautiful blooms, in other words, uh, if they are starting to spike. And uh, I did it last year, and I think, yeah, that was the first time I did this uh, spike counting video. And I think it's it's really nice to do, so uh, I, I, this might be a video that uh, will come uh, again every year, because it's just so much fun. And I have this beautiful fan wall here, and it's always a, a good reason to uh, f start filming that again. Plus, I uh, personally do love fails. I now have more than 70, I think 73. Last year, when I did a video or the update on the fail wall, I had 65. So there were a, bit, a, bit, uh, a few that uh, I did buy in. And, uh, but anyhow, let's start this video. I'm going to start as uh, last year from uh, left uh, to right. And uh, well, let's see what we come across. And hopefully uh, we will uh, see quite some, uh, some spikes starting. So uh, here we go. So yes, like I said, we're going to start from left to right. I think that's the most easiest way. I'm going to show my summer bloomers, but uh, the name suggests already that they bloom in summer. It has a uh, new spike and an old spike. This is my Bellina. It's not blooming now as, a, uh, as we uh, would expect. Then over here, I have my Fel Gigantica, which is uh, funny because it's uh, almost my smallest uh, orchid, but it is progressing. I can see that the leaves are starting to get bigger, but I'm not expecting any spike from this for uh, at least this year. I think another year or even two. This one is a fairly new Percate uh, orchid, the Fel Gigabell. You may have seen the unboxing. So this is working on uh, Adept adaptation is doing fine and let me quickly check might put out a spike but no it, luckily it doesn't uh, because otherwise i may have cut it off then the next one yes you guys i try to do uh, speed it up a little bit because there are so many uh, this spike i believe it grew in this season so it's officially uh, last year of course but it's a new growing season but um yeah and it's uh, pro Thinking of uh, extending that spike plus making branch over here. So that's beautiful. Then we have this one. This one is making a spike over here and also one here. So yeah, that's definitely spiking. I'm not going to count them, you guys, like I did last time. It's just too much. Uh, summer bloomer, summer bloomer, summer bloomer. And you can see they have a lot of spikes, but it didn't bloom yet. Well, actually this one did, but it was in summer. That's not a fail. So we're going to... Leave that for another video. Well, this is obviously spiking. This is my Sutriata, family of Sutriata. So yes, next to it, another yes. Look at this beauty. And oh, the color of these leaves are so beautiful. This is the Bronze Maiden. And look at those roots in the background. <laughs> it's going everywhere. So yeah, she's doing fine. Then this one is extending the flower spike. It has some blooms even over here, new bud. Uh, branches and this was last season spike. It's shorter. I don't know why But it's uh, thinking of extending and it's grown also a new leaf. So this one is doing uh, very nicely Then my Leodoro uh, Look at that. She is doing fine. I have a basil cake. This is actually the mother plant and Look at this a new spike. It's already in bloom, but it's a new spike from this season So yes, this one is uh, already blooming and that's beautiful of course let's go over here well this is obvious a beautiful new spike is coming and this one the fragrance on this one oh it's beautiful so if if you love a fails with a fragrance i highly suggest this one it's a nice citric sweet fragrance it's it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and that was the name for it let me put a tag back over here next to it a neighbor it's hiding its spike underneath his Leodoro leaf, <laughs> but there it is. This is a no ID. Is it? No, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. This one has actually a name. Oh, the glare. I know. There you go. Sorry. It has a name. It's a beautiful red one. 
So yes, that one is spiking. This one is the no idea. This makes them up. Also spiking. Next to it is the Celebensis from Inse. It did bloom. I cut off the blooms because it's not happy with my temperatures, even though I have it 18 degrees at night. This one wants it a bit warmer, so she is dropping her roots. She did grow a beautiful, uh, strong uh, leaf. As you can see, she's dropping down the one. So Inse, I'm trying, I'm trying, but she's not happy. <laughs> Next to it, look at this. Inspike Syriana. Family up Syriana. Now I have the pink one. I love it. I love the pink one a little bit more uh, than the white one. And the leaves, this one is the newest, is bigger than the previous one. So we're doing fine there as well. Well, yeah, this is obvious. <laughs> Two old spikes that's starting to branch plus a whole new one. And I have the, yeah, this is a named one. Look at this. There is the name. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning orchid. I'm so happy that I did bought that one. Well, actually with all of them. <laughs> but this one is beautiful as well. Obviously a spike. It's not a very old fell, but it is a beautiful, of course. <laughs> this is the Chuturiata variety nobilis, so the yellow one. Next to it is a new orchid, so I don't expect any flowers of that one. This one is still in bloom, also a new one. I'm keeping my eye on it, I might cut the spike, so these do not count. Same story with this one and with that one. So I bought a few and I did give them for my birthday, that was in last September. So these are not uh, not counting for this session next year. Look at these two beauties. Both in spike. The first one is the also a must have, you guys. <laughs> I love them all. You, you can cup it. The orange blooms are beautiful on this one. I, I absolutely love it. Beautiful leaves. Next to it, look at this newest leaf. Doing well. Two spikes. This is the mini mark. Fairly common, known one over here on YouTube. <laughs> mini mark Maria Theresa. Those are doing fine as well. And in spike. Then we have this one. I believe I did a video on these guys. This is a mother plant with a keiki. It's still attached to the mother plant via an old spike, but it was hanging out of the pot and I just repot it. And like I said, I do believe I have it uh, on here on my channel, but the leaves are very shiny, so that's beautiful. But no spikes yet. But in my um, memory, this one is just a little bit later spiking. Well, X, no, that's a root. Quickly, no, no spikes yet, but I think it will bloom. Next to it, well, very obvious. Look at that beauty. And look at this leaf. I didn't put anything on here, you guys. Believe it or not. This one is really, really happy. It has... No, it has, doesn't have a name. I always give them a tag, but this one doesn't have an official name. Well, let's go over to this one. So far, so good, isn't it, guys? We have a lot of spikes, I believe. Actually, look at this. I just, just saw it. This is my uh, bronze maiden. It has not a spike. That's a, a first time. Last year, it was only one spike. So we have two on that. I just spotted it. Maybe you did see it while, while I was filming it, but uh, I didn't. So yeah, I'm not trying to rush it too much. I think we are going uh, well, time-wise. This is a completely new spike. An old spike branching and another spike is also branching. Let me quickly check. Uh, no, it's no ID. But nonetheless, it's spiking. Well, the, obviously, this is not a Phenoliopsis, but it sort of is. <laughs> this is what we fill in Phenoliopsis. It has nothing to do with the Val, but it, it shares the same name, sort of, kind of. Anyhow, let's move on. Beautiful, fresh new spike here. Beautiful fresh new spike there. So this is a mother plant and a keiki, and the keiki is blooming as well. Plus the mother decided to branch on this spike as well. It's a no ID, but it, it's a beautiful spotted one. So uh, absolutely something to look forward to. Well, this is quite obvious. This is a new branch and we have a branch here and there over here. So yes, I think you see them as well. I have a bit of mealy box here and there, so I need to spray this one. Nothing seriously damaging, but yeah, we have a few, and that's what uh, what what you can have, obviously. But I don't 
panic about it. I just need to spray it. Anyhow, it has spikes. Well, up there, almost to the roof, you see that? That's a new spike. It's an old spike, but behind that one is the green one. <laughs> so yeah, there is another spike on that valve. And this is one that it's currently not in flower, as far as I can see. It's, it's very inconvenient for me now to have a look, but no, it's not, not flowering, I believe. So let's stay up there. <laughs> in the back, well, you can obviously see this is an old spike branching. It's stuck in the roof, so I should adjust that. In, in the back there, we have new spikes. But this one has a branch there. And this one's branched, so one, two, three. That new, that is the newest spike. Four, five. So we have five spikes on this one. So that's going to be a quite a quite a nice show. Then down there we have another one is branching, and that one has also a few mealy bugs on there, but that's the branch. So I will spray that as well. Then in the corner here. Um, I cannot see a spike yet, but who knows, I just, uh, just can't see it. I'm going to leave it there because there are many plants in front of it and some roots. I don't want to break those, of course. So yes, we had that one with a mini box. And then we have this one. Uh, look at this here. There is a spike. Just above my finger. So yes, that is spiking. Next to it, this is branching. So yes, it's also going to be in spike. And let me quickly check. I, yeah, no, that's branch. <laughs> For a second I thought that would, it was a new spike. But anyhow, it's branching. Then obviously also in spike. So yeah, they're going good. These don't have name. Well, actually this one is, does have name. This is Indian Summer. This fail is Indian Summer. Fairly new one. So that's going to be good. Uh, let's start up there. Well, yeah, that's obvious. It's uh, touching the light, but that's a new spike for sure. Absolutely. With some branches going on. So that's good. Then this one is fairly new. It has a name. I can hardly reach it, but this one is not uh, blooming. And that's okay, because I w this is just adapting. Well, it, it's just adapted, I should say. So uh, I'm going to leave that. Well, down here, this one is a branch, this is a branch, and this is a complete new spike that just started opening up her first two blooms for the season. Just a no idea, but beautiful if you ask me. If you ask me. Then this one, <laughs> this is also a personal favorite. It's yellow with orange. No, uh, yeah, a little bit of orange and pink. And I love the combination of yellow and pink in blooms as well. But a fairly big spike, I hope you can see. So yes, also spiking. I think we are going very well with the spikes this year. Let's uh, have a look up there. So that one we just saw next to it. It's not this one that's down there, but this one I have for several years. Let me zoom in so you can see the spike there. It was a very old fell. I cut the stem off and I put it back in. And I think it's now three years later and it finally starts to bloom. So I have no idea how the blooms look. But do you see there a spike as well? So this one is a making up for it, definitely. With two spikes on the go. So yeah, and this one, this is a new spike as well. Is a Karen Alba. Yeah, Karen Alba, beautiful variety. So this one is obviously uh, in spike already, but uh, look down there, another spike. So that's going to be good as well. And then we have a few other blooms. That's from other fell, not from this one that we're going to look at first. But, oops, whoops, as you can see, it is in spike as well. So some old newly box, I believe. So yeah, I have a few here and there. Not much, luckily down here. This one is not really starting to branch her spikes. Well, actually, I'm lying. Here it is. <laughs> and I'm just checking quickly, do we see any new spikes? No, not yet. But we have, we will have new blooms. So yes, going good. Next to it, this is my 
Dragon Gold. Dragon Gold. New spike and a new spike here, but somehow I managed to damage this one. So I'm not sure, maybe we will have a uh, branch from that. But yeah, that's very sad, but with watering, you guys, it's a challenge this time of year <laughs> with all those spikes. Then we have this one. This is a, a new spike completely, as you can see. But next to it is another one from last year, and that one decided to branch as well. So yeah, you can see me there in the reflection. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but I don't want to distract you guys from the spikes, but that is it. And then next to it is this one. You just saw the blooms. So yeah, obviously this is a new spike. Still starting uh, to open up. But uh, yeah, it's one spike for now. Then the one above it. A branch, another branch, and a completely new spike. So yeah, this one is doing wonderfully well. Let me quickly check. This is finally up to a Jaguar. Jaguar and the one we just saw. I'm sorry, this one. I should give you the name. It's the... Uh, there you go. Chaida Francis Picotti. You can see it. Those have names. Then you cannot see the tag, but this is the surf song. And it's a beautiful orange one. There is a completely new spike. And there is another completely new spike. So two new spikes. Uh, and there in the back, I hope you can see it, it's a branch from the old spike. Two branches actually. On top a little one and one next to it. So yeah, that is going to be a wonderful show on this arc as well. The best so far. Absolutely. So next to it, well, you see the buds there. <laughs> a new spike and some buds touching my LED lamp, some blooms. Um, yeah, this one, the smallest spike so far is the newest one. And we need to spray that one as well. It's, I see some uh, white dots. Then down here, this is the one that I believe the last time it had 19 spikes, all in bloom at the same time. But it's working on new spikes, so yes, it's definitely in spike. But I will not, I don't know how much we will have, but I will wait until all of them bloom again, and then we will have a look if it has more spikes or less than previous. But that is this one. And believe it or not, this is a mini file, but it is, absolutely, this is, this is not her root system. I'm sorry, I apologize. This is her root system. <laughs> Doing very well. So, yeah. Uh, did we already have this one? No, we didn't. This is a new spike here. And a yeah, we did have this one. I'm sorry, I didn't give you the name. That's the problem. My darn yellow. I apologize, you guys, but I hope you can uh, see what the problem is there are so many so sometimes i repeat myself a little bit i apologize i will do better <laughs> down here well this is very obvious it's about to open up well a week maybe something like that and then we should have the first flower do i have a name for it let me check no it's it says little orange fragrance number 49 so <laughs> so i know which one it is in my notes Next to it, this has a name. This is the Vanilliopsis Chi Cheng Hot Kiss. And it has these beautiful blooms. And these have been around for quite a while. And she decided to extend that flower spike. Also with a branch over here. Then we follow it down. We see a spike here. It's also an old spike, but it is branching here. <laughs> See, it's a bit of a puzzle these days here with all those spikes and, and fells and roots. This is not making a, a new spike and it doesn't have much leaf. So probably a mite. Yeah, it does have a beautiful root system. So I'm not sure, but I might cut the spikes this time just to try to get a few more leaves on this one. Who knows? But it has a beautiful, wonderful uh, root system. So it should be fine, technically speaking. Then the one behind it, this is an old spike, nothing much happening, but next to it, it's a completely new spike, and look at that, beautiful. And there's an old spike as well, doing nothing at the moment. 
Then down underneath that one, we have this one. Well, this one is obvious, I think. But it's an old spike from last year. You can see there's a cut, but it's branching. And I'm not completely sure. So far, I don't see anything new yet, but that's okay. Beautiful leaf, shiny leaf. Happy with that. Well, this is obvious, I think. Complete new spike. Old spikes are dying off, so I can cut those off. Um, this one doesn't have a name. The previous one was the Las Vegas. But I think, I, yeah, I'm surely do, will do an update when they are blooming, and then it's easier to give them names so you can, uh, can see if you want to buy them for yourself. This is no ID, the purple one. A beautiful new spike, already starting to branch, but it's a complete new spike for this season. So let's go uh, up a one, and then we have this one. This is an old spike, branching, and it did branch over here, and it's still branching, the other way around. <laughs> and this is C, <laughs> beautiful, but it's also working on a, another spike over there. Absolutely beautiful. So, and the one above it is the one with the white blooms. This is her spike and a big lip, white one. This spike is from earlier in the season. But you can see she's making buds again. So she will be in bloom also. Then it's a little one next to it over there. Um, red pecker as may, is it called? I really hope it does bloom. I have it for four or five years and never had it in bloom because I mistreated it badly. <laughs> but it did make a big basil cake here. And it should be able to bloom now. But like from, from this point, I cannot see a spike yet. I will try it from another angle. Let's, uh, let's change that. And I meant, obviously, the angle. So here we are again. And this is the same little one we just saw from the other angle. Like I said, maybe. No. No. no don't see anything yet. Who knows? But that one should be nice. I have it back in bloom again. And then we have this one. Well, I'm fighting my dendrobium and cocci <laughs> It's in my face. Uh, old spike, obviously. <laughs> and nothing new yet. This one is doing well. So it's probably a little bit later. Let's have a quick look. Do we see something? Um, no, that's nothing yet. That's okay. It probably will be here later this is my a very large white one doing fine this is an old spike over here and it's starting to branch here and also here so two branches let's follow the other old spike because there is oh i'm sorry also branching beautifully but no new spikes yet and that's okay she, she's putting her energy in the branches yes we also have a little bit of mini box on this one that's okay, I just need to spray. Oh, almost forgetting this one, look at that. There it is, new spike. Also a no-named variety, or at least I don't have a name, let's put it like that. Do we see more spikes on the way? Uh, no, not yet, but at least one, so yes, and spike. And then this one, this is probably my oldest that I have. And it did break the spike while watering. It's so sad. But anyhow, it's a completely new spike and it has a lot of branches going on. It's a big lip and it's a bit of a purpley striped one. And I think I did found a name for it. It's absolutely beautiful. Mickey Dancer. And like I said earlier on, I, I will uh, do uh, more updates on them with the blooms and then the names. Otherwise, it's undoable basically for me to put on in all the pictures of the blooms. But we will definitely have a similar video once they all bloom. So here we have a beautiful root system, but we are looking more at the spikes these days. Well, uh, these days. <laughs> Today, I'm sorry. Old spike, but as you can see, it's nicely shooting out another branch. Beautiful. So it almost looks like one spike here. But yeah, it is, as you can see, a branch. How beautiful. Then the one above that is currently still blooming. It's an old spike, this one. I'm not sure, maybe it will progress. But it also makes, currently is making this spike. Look at that. So, and this one has a name as well. 
I need to grab the tech. So here we go. Montreux, I think I pronounce it. Montreux, something like that. Anyhow, that is this one. Whoops. See, you see? It's a challenge, you guys, to take out the, the name tags and especially watering. Oh, yeah, it's so sad when I break them. I don't want to break them. This is my Irene Duncan. It's not in bloom and I hope it will skip blooming. I never had it in bloom, but I do have it growing roots. That's also kind of new. <laughs> so yeah, let's focus on that for now. So, and that is it for now, you guys. So yeah, I hope you can see all the green stripey things. I think we do have quite a lot of spikes. Let's me uh, go back over here so we can have a look. And I noticed that the leaves are a little bit darker than last year. That's because we have a, a heck of a lot of dull gray days outside. But they still do fine and they do get enough of light, obviously, because we saw just saw how many spikes there are on the way. But still, I, can, I think they are just a little bit darker than previous year. It's okay. It's fine. That's all I can do. So yeah, I only have extra LED lamps just above on the ceiling. That's all. So these ones. And in that corner, it's a bit darker. So that one didn't spike yet, but the other ones around it uh, do spike. So I think it's it's fine. There's enough light there. And then we have this door with some fells on as well. So yes, you guys, I think we can uh, easily say that uh, we have really something to look forward to. To be honest, there are more spikes than I did uh, expect. Because while watering, obviously, I see uh, most of them spiking. But just focusing on the spikes only in the for in this video, uh, yeah, I think I, uh, I can be fairly happy uh, with the amount of spikes, and I really look forward to it. When they're all in bloom, we will have that sea of blooms again, which is it's, it's magnificent. It's so beautiful. So yeah, I'm very happy uh, happy with these results so far. Uh, I didn't count them. So if you have counted them, you may uh, leave the number in the, in the comment section. I didn't do it because it doesn't matter uh, that much, I think. Uh, but anyhow, this is uh, this is the this was the spike hunt for so far. Like I promised, I will be back uh, with a similar video once they are all in bloom, and then I will give the names again of the orchids where I do have a name uh, uh, for. So uh, if you are interested, you may uh, may uh, be able to find it and you have a, a better idea of what types of blooms uh, you might expect. And obviously I, I, I need to remember that to, uh, to tell you guys when it's, if it's fragrant or not, because that is something we like to know as well. Anyhow, that is coming. For now, uh, I hope if you like this video, please share it, give it a, a likes. And of course, if you didn't already have, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel, that would uh, really help me out here. And as usual, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. For now, thank you one more time for watching, and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.